foodies and we love getting recommendations from the locals of where to go to eat to drink all the things it's kind of our thing so we got this recommendation from a local of this awesome cafe where you can sit outside have a coffee have a delicious breakfast we've been coming here like every day i almost don't even want to put it out there because i don't it's kind of like a low-key spot i don't want it to blow up okay, so our favorite off the beaten path cafe in all of rome is da mica <laughs> like, i can't even say that with like a straight face Obviously, the McDonald's was a complete joke, which leads us to this video. We are Kim and Aaron, two healthcare travelers turned entrepreneurs who are taking one full year to travel the world. We absolutely love food. Ah. And the experience you can have and how much you can actually learn about a place just through the food you are eating. We hope that these places in the video will make your must-eat-at list when visiting Rome. We know that these gems will be the highlight of your next Rome experience. But first, before we jump into the video, a quick message from Kim. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Subscribe to Okay, so I'm trying my very first Aperol Spritz. Not even in Italy, just in life. I know they're super popular everywhere. I've never had one. Aperol is an actual like alcohol. And then what else? There's something. The Prosecco. Prosecco and something else. I don't know. I'm going to try Prosecco and it. Aperol. And something else. Sure. Bitters. Here we go. Oh, bitter. Bitters. Okay. I'm going to try it. Ooh. I'm not really a fan. It's a little sweet. Really? It's like got a kick and it's sweet. Hmm. Not really a fan. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You're not on the trend? I don't care. It's very strong too. It tastes it tastes like the bitter we had the other night. Oh, it's bitter. Earthy taste. <laughs> oh my god. No. It's this, like whiskey. This one makes When we did our did our bitters on the food tour and they were like like it's like so like heavy that's what this tastes like okay take two sorry so i made a big mistake being not proud but when i took a sip from the straw it was just all bitter and so when i actually mix it up with the straw and then i just took a sip like normal it's really good it's refreshing it's got a little bit of like bubbles to it it's a little citrusy but it wasn't like with the bitters mixed in it was actually Really well, so, you have I'm to sorry, make up. You have to make up for the first face you made. So. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Just delicious or double delicious? Double delicioso. Wow. Okay. No, mama mia. Mama mia. Okay. Oh, okay. Is it good? Oh my god. It's truffle bruschetta. What else could you want Garlic. in life? Lard? Lard. <laughs> drink your wine, pour your water, drink your wine. <laughs> These green beans are bomb, dude. One thing that Kim and I talk about is the fact that we always want to keep it real and we've been doing so many authentic Roman restaurants trying to find where the locals go and we stumbled upon this place for lunch and it's called Ginger's and it's right around the Pantheon and also uh, close to the Spanish Steps. There's two locations but the one thing that Kim and I don't agree upon is like their breakfast. We don't like sweet breakfast so coming here we got avocado, I got an omelet, 
It was phenomenal. The ingredients are so fresh. I didn't even need ketchup for my omelet, which is crazy because being from the south, I always put ketchup on my omelet, but the flavors just were incredible. Such a good breakfast, such a good place to come to just kind of get out your American kind of breakfast every once in a while. It's perfectly okay and just hits the spots when you need it. I'd like to see something. Kim would like to say something now because I was doing this on my own because she's been in her phone the whole time. I'm posting on Instagram story, so if you want to see what's happening in the moment in real time, make sure to follow us at Kim and Aaron G. We do stories every day. That being said, I just had the best avocado toast of my life, which again, I know, so American. I'm not even sorry about it. It was so good. It was homemade rye toast, avocado, olive oil, which is exactly what I needed today. Just like you said, we kind of, sometimes you just want that like mm -hmm. creature comfort. And I don't even like the taste of eggs. And at home, I have to put like hot sauce and stuff all over. I kept like going back for more. That was the best tasting omelet I've ever had. And they have special juices if you want like a potion, cappuccino. I mean, anyway, it was ciao bella. Oh wait, bellissimo. Mia. It's just it's good to have, right? It's good to splurge every once in a while to bring you back home once in a while, and then go back to the local culture. That's what we suggest because sometimes you want to mix it up. That's what we do. We're keeping it real. And these places are going to be much more expensive, P.S., but uh, for yes. us, it's worth a little bit of a splurge um, every now and again. And this place is awesome. Hi, welcome to Dillo. What makes this place special? They make a la mitabola with the mortadello, which is only done in Roma. And the mortadella has pistachio in it, and the meatballs are made with veal. And Giada came here and made meatballs with the chef, so I feel like she knows good balls. You know what I'm saying? Well, not only did Giada come and make meatballs, she sought this place out because she said she's never had meatballs like this. And she sought this chef out to teach her how to make these meatballs because they're that good. You've been waiting for these balls for months, and I cannot wait to put them in your mouth and hear <laughs> what you have to say about it. Dirty dog. Uh, I'm excited. So these were the meatballs that we've literally been waiting over a month for. I cannot wait to try this, so. Is it the best meatball you've ever had? Hands down. Hands, well, are you hands, just saying that? Hands down. Right. Hands down. No comparison at all to anywhere in the world. This is next level. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy truffle. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Okay, so we are on our way to kind of an impromptu thing that we found. We weren't sure if we were going to do it or not, but we decided to go ahead with it because it involves eight, at least eight glasses of wine mixed with some amazing uh, prosciutto and salami. That's a wine and fruit pairing. I was getting there. What it's called. Oh, it's there you go. Ramessa Briscoli's. Okay. It's something like that, but it's like the Riscoli, like the famous like deli bakery. It's a branch off of that. And so it's like a wine tasting food extravaganza. Video on that.
that the wine is not very fat and maybe No, but just because there are a lot of right herbs that are very really amazing. sandwich and blah 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 and all the pictures but like this is so worth it this is one of the best things i've ever had america slash italy slash anywhere really but this, this beef and this flavor and this bread the bread such an amazing thing to walk around and get this sandwich and for my vegetarian friends i got an artichoke and pecorino and the bread is really a standout this place is Oh. Great, the bed. No more filming. Mm. Mm. Yada's mom, who's a local Roman, this is one of her favorite spots to come for good quality local Roman process. And we just overheard them saying, we don't know who was sitting next to us, but we think it was like somebody important, like a chef. He said that this is the best pasta maker in the world. <laughs> we haven't got our pasta yet, so stay tuned. But that's um, kind of a big deal. And it's right across from the Pantheon. So if we were sitting outside, we'd have a view of the Pantheon, which you think would be like a tourist spot. But they say it's like a local gem that the people come for good food. And so far, this is like one of the best things I've ever had, this cheese. I could just eat the cheese. Mm -hmm. Aaron is trying carbonara for the very first time. Very first time. Like, first time ever I in your it. life. Not even in Italy, just in life. In life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And carbonara has an egg. Egg, so it's... Yes. Egg, egg, pecorino, pepper. and pepper. Pecorino? Pecorino. One uh, chale. And pecorino oh. cheese. Oh, and pecorino cheese, correct. Mm. Hello. Why is it that everything we eat here is literally the best thing I've ever tasted? I mean, the pasta is al dente, a little bite on it, the pepper comes out, the cheese, and then the guanciale is just smooth and creamy. Do you like it better than the cacio de pepe? Hands down. All right, I want to try not it. Not even close. Not even close? Not even close. You're not into pepe? Only this blows pepe out the water. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. I told you. Cache de Pepe who? Exactly. Oh my god. This is amazing. So we got the torta, which we are super excited about. And um, I'm going to actually let the boog try it first, which I feel like I'm regretting. Balsamic first. Is that balsamic or chocolate? Oh. I don't know. It's like a balsamic chocolate. <laughs> It has like a zing to it. Okay, so this is like their homemade torta and it has like ricotta and like some kind of raspberry, raspberry jam. jam. Oh my god. Oh, it's like it's delicate but it has like a custardy. It's like not overly sweet. But that jam gives it like a little bit of a zing, a little bit of a brightness. And the balsamic kind of brings up the richness of it. Wow, this is amazing. Would you say it's that jam? Paramisu who? Oh. Yes, babe, it's that drill. <laughs> you can't even do it. I don't even remember what that was Jam. From. Jam, jam, jam. What was that from? Did we just We're cutting. Authentic 
local experiences are what we are all about, but we also believe that there is a time and a place to come to a touristy place, to have a spritz, people watch, and then just enjoy everything around you. And so that's what we're doing right now. Like I said, get your drink, get some snacks, people watch, but God forbid, don't eat dinner here, please. That's where we draw the line. Drinks, appetizers. Prego. Prego. upon it we weren't planning on sharing this or coming here or anything we were just walking we were actually sitting across the street eating chips that was their average it was like chips and like a spritz and we kept looking at everybody eating across the street so we're like screw it let's go across the street let's try we ended up getting the salami and cheese platter with their homemade focaccia which apparently has taken like so many years to like make perfect it's a rosemary olive oil focaccia honestly we had to put this on here this goes down as the best thing i've ever had this whole experience like the salumi the cheese the pinot grigio the, the bread mortadella. this is hands down a must it's called mimi and coco and mimi la rue after we so we're like we have to go see mimi la rue that's how we remembered it and this is amazing it's a perfect place have a glass of wine have an appetizer before you go have dinner yes Wow, mama mia. Okay, so we we're on a hunt for a carbonara because we realized that that is the one thing that we hadn't had. In all honesty, we did have it yesterday at um, Armando di Pantheon. Yes, it was phenomenal. So we needed a base to kind of try so that way we could see which is better. Carbonara night. Let's go. We just had fruit all day, so. We did hear that the Casio Pepe is awesome too. So now we're pissed because we're like, did we do the Amant Amantio Chana? Well, I just said it really well until the video oh, turned no, on. I'm sorry. Or the Casio Pepe. Because carbonara is guaranteed. We'll be the guinea pig. Damn. I'll let you know. I mean, it's a, what do you call it? A good problem to have. Oh man, we have all these places to go try this great food. Just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Anyway. <laughs> Place, that's for sure. Fun story, how we found this place. We weren't even planning on coming here. And we were at this local spot that our food guide told us about. And the table next to us had this really cute dog that we were petting. And so we started talking. And he was from Rome, born and raised, and he knew we obviously weren't from there. And he was like, how did you guys find this place? Because this is like a local gem hotspot, so most tourists don't come here. So I told him about our food tour guide, and then he said, you guys have to come to Felice's in the Tosaccio neighborhood and get the carbonara. He said it is the best in the city. And so when a local tells you to go somewhere and try something, you do. So here we are. I'm gonna try the carbonara. First time. Well, here. First time. Mm, that's the bite. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Beautiful. Bellissimo. Oh. I think I like yesterday's better at the Pantheon. Really? This is inc it's incredible. But I think if I'm being honest, I, the other one yesterday was a stand it was a standout for me. I really had like that wow factor where this is incredible, but I think if I had to go back, I would go back to the other one and get get it. So our tour guide that did our walking tour said that when he has friends they want to come here for Casio Pepe and I noticed that it's on like the whole thing of the first of the menu that basically saying that when Felice gets to heaven God's gonna welcome him and say thank you for the Casio Pepe basically a loose translation um, so I was like gotta try it they did the whole mix and up before it was like a dinner presentation and so 
Here we go. Okay. I think we have a winner. Over the carbonara? No. Oh, of okay. cacio pepe that we've oh, had. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Now I gotta try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this takes the cake of all of our cacio pepe. So is it just creamier, the, more cheesy? There's there's actually like a citrus hint, which is really cool. The pasta is perfect, but it's not as just like just overly cheesy. It's got like such a really good balance with the cheese and the pasta with that citrus kind of hint to take away the fat of the cheese. What'd you think of the tiramisu, buddy? That, by the way, you didn't want to order. <laughs> I, I said that we weren't ordering tiramisu. We ended up ordering dua. 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 Best tiramisu I've ever had in my entire life. Why? And I've had a lot. Because it was so creamy and delicious, and it had fudge, like warm chocolate on the top that I've never seen before, ever had anything like that. So it was like a warm, hot chocolate tiramisu, and I will literally dream about that tiramisu. I was we so full, my button popped off my jeans, and we still ordered two. That's how good it was. Come here for that. Cassio and the Cassia Pepe. Pepe. That was amazing, too. And the carbonara. It was all amazing, but... Top restaurant? Mamma Mia. Hmm? That was amazing. Mm -hmm. There you go. You've heard it from the pro. <laughs> from the expert. <laughs> so another stop on the crazy list of like, you know, just places that we've been to, why we've been here in Trastevere, is this little eclectic place called Donkey Punch. It's literally sandwiches made your way, but with the best Italian ingredients. Like I get a porchetta sandwich that is so good and Kim gets to come in here and just kind of make a veggie sandwich with eggplant and mushrooms and onions and it has been a lifesaver to kind of break up the monotony of the pizza and the pasta. This is kind of like a Italian lighter lunch, <laughs> but it's still so good and we've come here. This will be our third time since we've been here. So, so come check out Donkey Bunch. What I really like about Donkey Punch also is after you get your sandwich made, you can come out here and grab a little seat and kind of just watch all the people walking by. This is a great little hot spot um, in the Chesavere neighborhood, um, like I said, that we've come to multiple times since we've been here. So our favorite pizza place that we went to in this Testaccio Market, we actually found out that they actually have another store right here in the uh, Trastevere neighborhood, which is right around from where we're staying, and it's right next to Odile. So if you really want the best pizza and kind of like pizza gelato combination, you have it right here with um, Casa Monaco and Odile right next door. So we were.